Hey, what's up guys? This is Luis Montoya and today I'm teaching you how to find your maintenance calories. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure that you guys turn on the post notifications because it's gonna help you guys stay uh, up to date with all my uploads. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you guys are subscribed, okay? So as promised, I'm gonna teach you guys how to find your maintenance calories, okay? So this is gonna be a starting point for a lot of you guys. A lot of people try uh, finding out what their maintenance calories are based on tools that they find on the internet but a lot of those tools are just very generic and they just don't seem to work okay so guys i do want to make sure that i point out something super important there is no perfect starting point but this is going to be the closest and the most uh precise way to get started to make sure that you guys are off to a great start for your fitness journey so let's get started before we start those of you guys who are wondering what are macros and uh, you know why do we want to find out our maintenance calories. So it's super important that you find your maintenance calories because this is going to be your starting point, guys. You got to find out what your maintenance calories are, meaning uh, your maintenance calories are going to be what you weigh right now, uh, the amount of calories that it takes for your body to maintain the weight where you're at right now. So this is your starting point. You want to make sure that you're tracking your calories. So this way, when you decide whether you want to bulk or you want to cut, that way uh, you subtract or you add and you know whether you're going up or down. Alright guys, so as promised, I came up with a little, um, little guideline here that is super easy to follow and we're just going to go right through it. Okay guys, so let's get started. I made this little diagram for you guys to help you guys get a better understanding on how to figure out your maintenance calories. It's super important that you figure out your maintenance calories because once you figure that out, you'll be able to decide um, whether you want to cut or you want to bulk. But finding your maintenance calories is pretty much going to determine what, uh, what amount of calories it literally takes you right now to maintain the body weight where you're at. And it's super important that you guys are tracking, okay? So first things first, I'm going to use myself as an example and I'm using 180 pounds. So that's my body weight. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to times that by 15 and that's going to give me 2,700 calories uh, total intake. So it literally takes me 2,700 calories to maintain 180 pounds, okay? Before we go on, let me explain what your macros are going to be. So those of you guys who don't know what macros are, it's pretty much just going to be your protein, your carbs, and your fats. Okay, so I've got a little breakdown right here of how many calories per gram. So there's, um, in one gram of fats, there's nine calories. In one gram of carbs, there's four calories. In one gram of protein, there's going to be four calories as well. Okay, so now what I did is I personally like to maintain at least one gram of, um, of protein per body weight. Um, the fact that I'm a male and I'm trying to build lean mass and I want to make sure that I'm, you know, holding on to the mass, whether I'm going to cut or I'm going to bulk, I go a little higher and I like to just go up to like maybe 1.2 grams per body weight. So what I did is I just times 1.2 grams times 180 of protein and this gave me 260 grams of protein. Okay, so my total intake for the day is going to be 216 grams of protein, which is going to be 864 calories. How did I get this number? Again, I uh, times 1.2 times 180, it gave me 216 grams. The fact that there's four calories per gram, uh, so what I did is I just times these two numbers and I got 864 grams. Okay, moving on. 
So now with the fats, it's super important guys that you guys are maintaining your fats. If, you, if there's gonna be a little bit of carbs that are present, it's super important that you guys uh, maintain your, your fats at anywhere from 15 to 25%, just for uh, hormone purposes and just daily functioning activities, all right? So you can't have your fats too high if there's gonna be carbs. Present. If you're going to be doing a low carb diet, then this number is going to look completely different. But I personally like carbs because carbs are energy. And whether I'm cutting or I'm building mass, I do like to take in carbs. Okay. And I do this with all my clients. So I want to make sure that my uh, carbs are no lower than 50 grams. So what I did is I just went basic uh, numbers and I did 50 grams which again, there's um, there's nine calories per gram on your fat. So that gave me 450 calories and I've got that down right over here. So 450 calories and that's gonna be 20% of my daily intake that I did. So I did right in the middle. I like to be at 20. Most of the time on my starting points for all my clients, I usually do like a 40, 40, 20. That's what it's gonna eventually look like once I start uh, either cutting or building. So let's move on. So now the carbohydrates, guys. Super important that you guys figure out how many carbs you guys are gonna be intaking. And I like to be pretty conservative with the carbs. And even in some cases, even generous because again, whether you have high carbs in your diet, it's not gonna determine whether you're gonna lose body fat or not. What's gonna determine that you're gonna lose body fat is gonna be a calorie uh, deficit, okay? So again, you wanna make sure that your fats are roughly about 20%, so anywhere 15 to 25, I like to keep them at 20. So I'm doing 50 grams of fats. And for protein, no less than one gram of protein, I like to do 1.2 grams, okay? So then that just leaves me with the remainder of 328 grams of carbohydrates. And the fact that it's 328 grams um, of carbohydrates, there's four calories. So what I did is I take I take these two numbers and I get 1,314 calories, which is right up here. Now, again, so to figure out this section here, what I did is I just pretty much added this number, this number, and substituted by that number, which gave me 1,314. That's right, my remaining calories. So what I did is um, I just uh, divided that into grams and came up with 328 grams, okay? So now once you take all these calories together, 864, 1,314, and uh, 450, it's gonna add up to 2,700 calories. Hope that helps guys. If you guys have any further questions, let me know. I'll teach you guys how to uh, how to cut on a different video and I'll do the breakdown. Then I'll also do another video on how to bulk.